Industrialization is one of the key areas which is being focused on by government in its quest to achieve the Vision 2040, whose goal is to transform the economy from a predominantly peasant and low income to a competitive middle income country. But for industries to flourish, reliable and efficient power supply is of great importance. It's on this basis that the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development, Ruth Nankabirwa, toured the Sino-Uganda Mbale Industrial Park. Her mission was to assure the investors that government was working around the clock to stabilize power supply. Attract more factories to come here. What is it that is sending away people from not coming here? Is it the instable, unstable power? Tell them that power is now stable. Is it the cost of power? Tell them that there is a chance of working off peak, working off peak, and government is also trying to make sure that we give power to the industries at five US cents. The installation of this mobile power substation in the industrial park by Uganda Electricity Transmission Company Limited is timely and pro-investment. But they have had challenges. They have had challenges of power reliability and quality of power supply. And now, following government agenda of industrialization, we had to move this power, this mobile power substation from Tororo because it was the original station at Tororo. And we brought it here help in that cause. But then there is a long-term solution. We are going to put up a new uh, substation here uh, with a total of about 240 megawatts. Government's intervention is loaded by the top management of the Chinese managed industrial park. President, he want Uganda to become to industrialize the country. So but how can they make this one? I think from minister, from UTCR, and from our the front gave our the support. The investors, however, urge the public to consume locally manufactured products for business sustainability and equitable growth. Light bulbs, electricity cables, mattresses, bed sheets, pillows, stockings, among others, are some of the products being manufactured at the industrial park. Dennis Sigoa and Maria Namkose for UBC News in Bali.